We have Rick Dill here from Log Me In. Uh, he's going to talk us through your Rescue Plus mobile application. Correct. Okay. Thank so, you. Far away. Great. So we'll start off in the beginning, and just give it a little background. Log Me In Rescue Create developed a product called Rescue, which provided ad hoc support to PCs anywhere in the world. So it's off land. Anybody needing support can have a tech representative contact them and initiate a session. Can share control of the device in the PC. What we then did is added the Plus Mobile piece. So now what we did is we have these different subscription models that you can have a Windows license, you can connect to Macs, Windows Mobile, Simeon, Blackberry, and most recently we announced here at the show was Android support. So I'm going to walk you through and show you how quick and easy, and that's what Rescue's really built around, ease of the technician, ease of the end user. So let's say a customer has just moved over from a Windows Mobile device to a Blackberry device, and they're not really that familiar with it. They call their tech support representative and they're looking for support. The technician says, well, do you mind me sharing the device with you? They say, not at all, so we'll put a name in there. We'll just call them a test user. We have these predefined fields that we can pop down and say, uh, let's just say uh, education. The make of the phone will be a BlackBerry. And there's two things that I can do here. If the applet's already on the device, I can initiate a pin code and relay that pin code to the end user. They would enter it into the device and then we would connect up. If the customer does not have the applet on the device, we make it very easy by being able to send an SMS text message. Okay. They click on the link, they download the application, they're good to go. And this particular device already has the applet on here, so I will generate a PIN code. Now if you want to, you can see that little icon right there is the rescue icon. I go over to it, click on it. There's the PIN code field, and I'll enter in that number 868-417. 417 clicking enter, and now what it's doing, it will connect up to the gateway. So in a matter of moments, you see we're already connected to Mobile World Congress, the name has changed, and it will appear in my console up above. So now if you see on the top, you see it incoming as connecting. There's the test. I have it set to automatically initiate inbound private sessions, so now I'm connected up to this device. Now the thing that I wanted to point out is that when I talked about ease of the tech console for the technician, Everything is not worked inside of this one browser window, so you can run up to 10 sessions simultaneously, be it PC or devices. So we'll go over to this test device. I can look at some history and notes and see all of the sessions that were run to this device within this account. I can do file manager. I can pull system information, and when I do that, it's now prompting the user for permissions. The user will say yes, and you'll notice how quickly the technician is displayed with this information about that device. But the most important feature about this is the ability to see what the customer sees. Customers having a problem getting around, looking at options or whatever. A technician doesn't have to walk and get a device if they're not familiar with it. They simply can click on launch remote control. Now this is a shared control and it's very important to understand that. Customer shares the control of the device with you. So you can actually ask the customer to direct you as to what's going on. So they say, you know, you ask them, what are they trying to do? I want to do an enterprise activation. Well, show me how you're doing. When you click back, the technician actually sees everything that's going on. So the technician will say, well, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to scroll down to this. And you can see it on the phone. It's going down with it. I go over. Click on the button. Now I can get into the applications. You see it up here. And I can go down to advanced option two, enterprise activate. Oh, one, one pass, it. sorry about that. And we click on Enterprise Activation. Now the beauty of this is, I can type the email address in there for the customer and then ask them to type in their password so I don't have to ask anything security-wise about that device. Again, we can toggle back and forth between the different devices. And one of the things that we're announcing here at the show this, this year is the support of the Android phone. Okay. So we actually have an Android device here. And we can actually show you and get into a remote control. Now this was already running in another session that was transferred over to me. So there you see the Android device. And again, it's actually real time. So the customer, you can hit the home and it will, so we can actually touch on the screen and the applications come up. And the nice thing about the Android phone is similar to other phones, that when the customer flips at the landscape, we actually display it as landscape. It's, it's important. Someone may be calling in saying, my phone's not working in landscape. And when they open it up, they'll say, well, you're not in landscape. Okay, great. All right. And who would you describe as your typical user then? Is it small companies? Well, that's the beauty of Rescue. Rescue was built from the two-person shop all the way up to the huge enterprise. So 
And Rescue Plus Mobile is an add-on, so we, you can find enterprise customers out there that are already supporting PCs and using Rescue that now find themselves supporting BlackBerry devices or Windows Mobile, whichever it may be. So they can just buy an additional license and add-on to their already existing Rescue seat, and you can assign that license to particular technicians so they have the ability to now remote control Windows devices and mobile devices. Great. Thank you very much, Rick. Problem. Thank you.